guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video which is going to be a get to know me. I asked what you guys wanted to know and I got a bunch of different messages asking all sorts of questions and I picked up some on the internet as well. So, so let's just get into the video. So the first question is, what is your nationality? I am originally born in Iran, so I'm Persian, but I have been living in Vancouver since I was eight. So, majority of my life I've been here. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? No, I actually don't have any tattoos. I'm a virgin <laughs> when it comes to my tattoo game. But I do have a piercing, which is uh, obviously my ears. And then I have my belly button piercing, which I got when I was 16. So, yeah. <laughs> So, a phobia of mine. Um, I would say anything that crawls, ugh, it gives me the creeps. Any sort of insects, like spiders or... Mostly actually spiders, but yeah, anything that crawls. Every night actually before I go to bed, I like to shake my blanket off just in case there's anything in the middle of it. I just want it to fly out. So, I do a thorough check before I sleep. And then the one night actually I don't check, something's in my bed. So, so... A hidden talent of mine well it's not really hidden I play the piano I've been playing since I was in grade 5 and then I also have my belly dancing certificate to teach so I do belly dancing as well do I want kids I definitely want kids I love babies oh I die for them actually I'm like really obsessed with babies um, I'm like trying to push all my friends to have babies so I can be the caretaker but yeah, um, I do want to have kids, of course, at the right time because you never want to have kids when you're not ready to take care of them and give up on all the other things in your life. So when the time is right, oh, yes, I cannot wait to pop some babies out. <laughs> My favorite food, without a question, sushi. I've honestly had sushi for more than five days straight and I still didn't get sick of it. I was still hungry by the fifth day being like, I want more. I just, I'm a sushi freak. And I love pasta, but if I had to choose between them, it'd be sushi. My favorite makeup brand. I honestly don't have a favorite brand. That's just such a vague question because it depends on the product. So I honestly couldn't pick. Pass. <laughs> My favorite perfume, I would say I love Tom Ford, especially the Black Orchid, but recently I've been obsessed with the Silver Mountain Water by Creed. I haven't bought it yet, I keep getting samples, <laughs> but um, I just don't want to pay freaking $500 for a perfume. If anyone wants to gift it to me, I'd love it, but <laughs> I just can't seem to get myself to go and purchase it. And I don't mind purchasing things that are expensive, but just like for perfume, I feel like it's painful. The most I'll pay for a perfume is like $250. That's it. That's like me maxing it out, but I won't pay anything more than that. So anyways, if anyone wants to get it for me, I'd love that. <laughs> Bad habits. I chew my nails. Well, I don't chew my nails. I just like to pick at the skin. So... Whenever I have nail polish on, at least I'm saved from doing that. But yeah, that is a really bad habit of mine. Especially when I'm nervous or I'm just like stressing over something. I'm just like picking at my nails. What type of movies do you like to watch? I love watching comedy. And actually that's like <laughs> the only type of movie I actually really love to watch. So I would say comedy is going to be, without a doubt, my first pick. Sweet or savory? I love sweet. I have such a sweet tooth. It's kind of like my addiction. After food, I just sometimes like really need my sweets. It's kind of like if I don't have it, I go cranky. So anytime you want to make me happy, come show up with some sweets, especially if it's like, okay, I'm getting hungry right now, but like sweets that have a lot of cream or design. They're not like dry sweets, like not dry cookies. I don't like that. I like something that's like, I don't know, has a lot of like cream and Whatever, you know what I'm saying. I can't describe it right now. <gasps> Random fact about me. Hmm. I would say I'm overly clean in terms of like my personal hygiene. I love to shower even sometimes like twice a day. Not my hair, but like my body. Um, of course, I like to wash my hair every day too, but 
it's not good for you um yeah i love showering and then on top of that i love to have clean laundry which the downy unstoppables like you just made my day if you're gonna give me my laundry with the downy and unstoppables i just love the smell of it i want to just pick up my clothes and just smell them and they just smell clean and fresh i love it so yeah i have a little bit of an ocd about showering and my laundry and just about smells in general so yeah, if you ever smell me, which is <laughs> something that's going to be a little bit weird if you do, but um, if you do, my hair always smells like shampoo and I put all sorts of like skin cream and perfume. So I'm always smelling like something good. <laughs> celebrity crush. Honestly, I don't even have any celebrity crushes. It's kind of weird. Well, okay, fine. One, George Clooney. I'll never get over him but he's the only person that like throughout time has actually stuck in my heart <laughs> despite his aging I still think he's very handsome and I'd you know <laughs> love to get together George if you're out there something that I'm gifted with mm, I would say I'm very intuitive I'm really good at reading people and just kind of knowing what's on their mind and really feeling the vibe of people so I'm yeah very intuitive and I kind of know what's going on without anybody having to tell me what is actually going on so diet and workout tips I think this is a whole video on its own but having a green apple before your meal even half of an apple um, it is actually a permanent fat burner and also it totally cuts out your cravings for anything else and on top of that um, I feel like it makes me feel really full before a meal, so that is a secret of mine that I would like to share with you guys. Try it. Products that I can't live without. Okay, well, I'm kind of forced to live without this, but I would say that um, this Chanel foundation, which is the Vida Lumiere um, powder, they have discontinued it. I just recently went to purchase it again and I'm so sad to find out they've discontinued it and I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what, if you guys have any recommendations of something that is um, a good powder foundation just because I do have an oily skin. So if you guys have any recommendations of something I should try, please do let me know. But I'm actually really, really sad about this. Um, so I do have to live without that um products to live without so a product that i recently came across is the glam glow glow starter it looks like this it has such a beautiful illuminating look and it's really subtle it's not anything aggressive you kind of just if you want to go to the gym or you just want to just go run some errands and you don't want to wear any um foundation or anything like that it just gives you a really really beautiful subtle glow i just put some on my hand and i don't know if it's going to come out on the camera it smells like cupcakes and whenever i put it on people tell me i smell really delicious so yeah let me see if i can get it on camera yeah it doesn't it kind of looks like the shimmer that i have here but it's really subtle and you just put that all over the face and you smell delicious and you look delicious so that's a product that i can't live without okay i did find a product that i cannot live without which is the professional by benefit it is a mattifying i don't know if it's a primer yeah it is a primer so sometimes i don't want to wear any foundation when i'm going out of the house so maybe if i'm going to the gym or if i'm just going to the mall for a quick second or i don't know pick up some groceries i put this on it just mattifies my face it gets rid of any sort of pores that are on my face and it looks like it doesn't look like your it just looks like your skin is actually flawless without having to wear anything so it gives it a really nice skin finish so, this is my to die for product. Um, an OCD of mine. I like I said, I'm a shower freak. I'm a clean freak. Um, yeah, anything around me as long as I can keep it clean, which is like my bed sheets, my pillowcases, my clothing. I just love to do laundry and shower. It's just if I could do that all day every day, I think I'd be like a really happy girl. If I could just that's all I could do I'd love that <laughs> all 
All right, and that's it for the questions. If you guys have anything else that you want to know about me, please do let me know in the comments below or message me on my Instagram at moodsbygoli. And I'll definitely do a part two to this video so that I can let you guys know more about me. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.